Hey gamers and welcome back to my painting tutorial series. As we eagerly anticipate the release of 10th edition Warhammer 40k. In this episode I'm going to continue the exploration of the different Tyranid High Fleet color schemes. Focusing on the formidable High Fleet Leviathan. I'm your host Avner Hobbies and I'm thrilled to guide you through this painting process. So let's gather our brushes, prepare our paints and let's get ready to paint. As we're going to be painting High Fleet Leviathan, I'm going to have these paints ready on my desk. Basilicon and Grey contrast paint for all the ivory areas, Dwarf Skin contrast paint for all the skin areas, Luxian Purple contrast paint for the carapace, Grey Sia from Games Workshop for all the edge highlighting on the bones, and a mix of Luxian Purple and Grey Sia for the purple highlights. Having all these paints ready will ensure a smooth and enjoyable painting experience. Let's start by applying Dwarf Skin Express Color on all the flesh areas. I'm going to be thinning it down with a bit of medium and water, as I don't want the color to be too strong. As this will be for an army, I want to try and minimize all the processes I have to paint, and not having to highlight all the skin is one of them. Keeping this paint thin will allow the paint to flow mostly into the recesses and only tint the upper surfaces. Now let's focus on the carapace. I'm going to be using Luxian Purple Contrast Paint to coat the carapace, ensuring an even coverage. This vibrant color will give your Tyrion Homogon a striking and otherworldly look, befitting of the High Fleet Leviathan. Now finally let's finish off all the bone areas. I'm going to be painting it with Basilicon and Grey contrast paint. Be sure to cover all the claws and any bone like features with this contrast colour. As this contrast paint will add depth and shading in a single application. Making it perfect for achieving a distinct leviathan look. Now for a quick wash, I'm going to be using no oil shade to shade all the purple and bone areas just to add more contrast to these areas. Remember not to let your wash pool in any one area, and if it does, just wick it away with a dry brush. Time to add those eye-catching highlights. I'm gonna be creating a mix of 50-50 Luxian Purple and Gracia. Using a lighter touch, carefully apply this mix to the raised areas of the carapace further enhancing this depth and texture. And to highlight the bone areas, I'm going to take Gracia straight from the pot, thin it down with a bit of water, and apply an edge highlight to all the bone details of the model, accentuating the raised surfaces and creating a sense of realism. And there you have it. Your Tyranid Homogon now proudly represents the High Fleet Leviathan ready to strike fear into the hearts of your opponents on the battlefield. Feel free to add any additional details or personal touches to make it truly your own. Thank you for joining me on this painting tutorial for this High Fleet Leviathan. I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful in preparing for the release of Warhammer 40k 10th edition. We still have an entire series lined up, exploring the various Tyranin High Fleet color scheme using this versatile homogot model. So in my next episode, I'm going to dive into painting High Fleet Kraken. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all future episodes. So until next time, happy painting.